What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to The Emulator. Now, this is another game by T. Allen Studios and Studio Snowspot, who are the devs behind Conclues, which I played a while ago. And uh, this is for a seven-day game jam. So I, uh, I have no idea how long it's going to be, but I remember really liking Conclues up until that whatever happened in that last episode, and I still don't know whether or not I've finished the game, but I really wanted to try this out, so uh, let's go! It's the night before Halloween, and my girlfriend Sarah just invited me over for dinner with her parents. Hopefully it goes well. Okay, so uh, why do I have a flashlight if I'm just going over to di for dinner? Into the house? Oh, open door? Oh, what's up, Lord? The uh, power must have gone out. Okay, so F is flashlight. Yeah, why why do I have a flashlight if I'm just going over for dinner? Um, am I supposed to get the, the, the power back on? Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi password, okay. Um, what's, what's going on here? normal? This is completely normal. Just over at my girlfriend's house. Girlfriend's parent's house, maybe. Uh, and not only is there nobody here, but the, all the all the lights are off. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's Sarah's little brother. He's dead. Oh no. That's, that's the game artwork. I need a screwdriver. Dude, it feels like your your reaction to the situation is a little underwhelming. Uh the pumpkin moved. Okay, this, this is fine. This is all fine. Nothing nothing wrong with anything that's going on here. Uh toilet? What am I? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know what. Uh, uh, okay. Ah, fucking fucking door. Get out of my way. Okay. Uh, open door. Open door. What the fuck? Run and hide. What? What's going on? <laughs> what? What just happened? What? Restart, I guess. I don't have any mouse in here. How do I how do I restart? Escape? Alt F4? Okay, so I opened this and it activate run and hide mode. So yeah. He, he did. So if I come back out here. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Like how am I how am I supposed to run and hide? Uh... What? What's go Okay. Uh... So I'm gonna- I'm gonna check out some of the other stuff before I... Cause I- I think finding him in there is what... Activates the... Whole like run and hide mode thing. So that's locked. Okay. Nothing in there. Huh. So Sarah and the parents are nowhere to be found. 
Um, I do have to get, like, pretty ridiculously close to things in order to interact with them. Which is a little strange, considering that we also have, like, a really tight camera angle and a uh, restricted field of view. So, what's up? What's up, pumpkin? Okay, so... What's going on back here? Nothing, nothing. So, what's... Uh, oh, we have... We have, uh... Okay, cool. Get to the door. So, do I just need to, like, actually run to the front door? Oh, the... Uh, Sarah, what the hell? Okay. So, the, the items that are out of place are... Um, are where he is. So, I made it to the door. Am I just, like, leaving now? What's, what's going on? I see you there. Can I, like, go around the back of the house or something? No. And now I'm stuck. Huh. Okay. So, open door. We see that. Screwdriver. So, now I understand that anything that's kind of out of place like that is what the... what the guy is. So, my goal was to get to the door. Uh, booga booga boo. Yes, we get a stabby stab. So, so he can't get out of the house. But in getting to the door, Okay, we got to the door, we found Sarah. Is the game just broken over at this point? Because I don't know how I'm supposed to get to the door while it's not in this mode. And it seems like because it's in this mode, it, uh, it doesn't register that I've gotten to the door. Or it's a different door that I need to get to and um, I don't know. All of this kind of compounding on top of each other, as well as this kind of ridiculous amount of screen obstruction. Uh, I think I'm done with this. I understand that this is a Game Jam title, but I don't know. There's, there's a lot of little things that make the game not feel great to play, and it has to do with the very slow movement speed, the very tight camera angle. I think there's just a, a kind of a low field of view here, as well as it all being um, it, it, with a flashlight, which obstructs your view even more. And then on top of all of that, the interaction distance between objects is really, re just fucking kill me, I can't see shit. Um, also, you have to completely exit the game to restart it. So I'm just, I'm not entirely sure what the game wants from me in any way whatsoever. Because, uh, I, I, I go inside. I open the door. Yes, the power must have gone out. I find this. I find a screwdriver. And then my objective is just get to the door. But... Can I, like, lure you out or something? So if I get far enough away from you, you... Okay, can I... Yeah, can I lure you all the way up here? I'm just gonna die now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um... I, I can't I can't do this anymore. I, I have no idea what the game wants from me and I don't I don't know. 
I don't know, it's just, it's not communicating what it wants well enough. And I get that get to the door is a pretty vague statement in the first place, but... Hmm... I don't know, the fact that there, there's, you have to completely restart the game in order to actually give it another try and go through the, the text at the beginning every time makes it a bit more frustrating than I think it would be already. But yeah, this this lack of communication and goal or objective is uh, is really hurting what's going on. And not only like the lack of communication, but like I, I don't even know how to go about doing anything in the game because I can go up to things and press E, but all of the other doors are locked that have and the ones that aren't don't have anything interactable inside them so it's just this the only things i know so far about what's going on in here are that an object spawns that can create our little monster friend walking into the computer room triggers all of this and there's a screwdriver in there after that i have to get to the door but getting to the front door and finding the body does nothing so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a loss. But this has been The Emulator. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.